Hey, good evening, everyone. In tonight's free video, I want to take a look at some of the indexes and uh, and do some analysis on them. So uh, earlier today, um, as I was looking at this market, I was trying to make an assessment of where markets are relative to. And uh, I actually saw a comment on Twitter in regards to uh, calling out an area or saying that if the market breaks above here, um, this is where I'm expecting it to go, or I expect there to be some hesitation. Uh, I saw some comments like that on, on the Twitter, um, or Twitter. Uh, so as I look at the S&P 500, and I'm gonna comment on that in a moment, uh, the Twitter thing, um, you can see that we're at an area of resistance, okay? It's, it's a no-brainer to anybody who's familiar with trading. You can see we've rallied into a point of, you know, where we had significant time spent here and had a difficult time getting through. So we're right back at those levels. Now, when we looked at the S&P 500 and we rewind back, again, we talk about where markets are and where they're going if they do specific things, okay? So in this situation, we looked at the market and we said, if the market breaks above this high here, which is around uh, 1112 and closes above it, we had an expectation to move to the 127 at the minimum and then possibly the 1618. Now the 1618 actually puts us above this. So we'd really need to see a close above here. But when we did break above here, which happened this day, okay, technically it happened on this day, okay, which was March 1st. When we closed above here, we said, all right, guys, let's see if we can find any signals that, can, that we can participate because we have a 70% chance of getting to that 127% extension. And you see that within just a few days, we were actually able to get it. Now, since then, we've broken through and closed above it, and now we're into this resistance point. If we're able to, and again, notice how I'm using the words if, not it will, not I, I have any guarantees, nothing like that, but if the market is able to break and close above this high right here, okay, which was made on January 11th, 2010, then we have an anticipation that the market will go to 1157s, okay? There's no guarantees that it will happen, but that's the analysis on the S&P so far. Now, if we take that same analysis and apply it to the NASDAQ, which was uh, brought up today on Twitter, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ has done something a little bit different. Although they're moving in tandem, they're not exactly the same. Today, the NASDAQ actually made new highs, okay, over the last, whatever it's been, 8, 10 months. It's made new highs, and in fact, it's closed higher than it has, okay? So, same analysis to be made here. When we looked at, and, and think of reading charts like you read a book from left to right. You're using your mind, and what we do here is we use our analysis to find predictive levels of where markets are going. But that never means that it's always going to happen. Remember, remember that nothing in trading is an absolute. Nothing is for sure. Nothing's a guarantee. All you have is your edge, and, your, and you should know what the probability is of your edge are. If you don't know that, then you're headed down a path where you're probably not going to be consistently profitable. Okay, and I think that's the end goal of all of us here. So same situation, when the market went and retested these highs or came close to retesting these highs, we said the same exact thing. If the market breaks above here and closes above here, we have an anticipation. That anticipation is from this low here to that high. And what we're looking for is, we're looking to see it make a 27% jump from 1832. So when that happened, we had that anticipation and you can see we spent actually a day or two figuring out, okay, are we gonna get here? Are we gonna break? Are we gonna pull back? What are we gonna do? The market spent a couple days there and then decided, all right, it's time to go. Once it broke through that, we had an anticipation of the 1618. Now, one of the things that we do to figure out, well, what's more likely? or where's it gonna go if it breaks the 127 extension is we use simple symmetry. Again, a very, very, uh, an important thing that is uh, not understood by most traders and very underappreciated. 
So what I did was we talked about from the low here to the high. And I appreciate you guys sending me charts, by the way, of the same type of analysis. But I measured from the low to the high, just like I did with the FIB. And I'm going to copy and paste the value of that. You see, I've copied and pasted the value of that. Now, if I paste that right here, you'll see that that comes really, really close to that 1618 extension. Again, it's not always going to be exact, but you get an idea. And what those lines do for us is they map out or they point us in the direction of where it might go. It's kind of like a compass, right? Think of these lines as like a compass. And these this compass is like it's telling us, all right, well, if we get past this certain level, in this case, 1832, we've got a 127, but the one to one is pointing us towards 1900. If we can break through that 127, we got a pretty darn good chance of getting there. And then even that 1618, which is again, just a few points within each other. So you can see, just to show you, we went to the 1618 today, we've tagged it, and we even found some resistance there. The market was able to get to it. It went to 1912, and these are the futures, of course. And then it, and then we proceeded to kind of pull back towards the end of the day. So again, short term, at least for now, we're expecting some resistance. It doesn't mean it will happen, but that's what we're looking at, okay? Now, as far as pullbacks are concerned, same concept. In this situation here, we pulled down to a 382. When a market pulls down to a 382, you have an expectation that the move is strong, okay? So right here, from the high down to this low, I measured this. So my expectation at this point right here is that we're going to see a pullback. And that put us right near the 1860 range if the market actually resists here and starts to pull back. Now, if I just copy this retracement leg and paste it right here, you'll see that that 1860 puts us at the 382 retracement. OK, so keep an eye on these levels. Uh, we may see some resistance here over the next few days, but nobody ever knows for sure. OK, and then one last question. Someone said, what about the Dow? Same concept in the Dow. Right now, the Dow has gone to the 127 extension from the low to the high here. You see, we went right within that. The highest high today was 10606, six points away, found some resistance. And now starting to pull back again if it can get through here look for the move to the 127 uh, 1618 but again we need to see a close above that high okay guys hope that helps um one other thing all right we're going to be doing a uh, two-day fibonacci training class next week uh, march 17th and 18th um, and what we're going to be talking about is again some of the tactics and tools and concepts that we teach here on a daily basis via our room and our training program um, it's going to be a two-day really intensive uh, learning session uh, in which you'll be able to learn a lot of things that we do on a daily basis and stuff that you can actually apply in your trading, whether you trade futures, stock, currencies, doesn't really matter. Um, more information can be found on our website. You can just click on that main button there. It'll take you to this page, which will have more of the information. There's a little bit of a syllabus here on what we're going to be doing, what we'll be covering over the two days. Um, and again, uh, up until the end of this week, uh, we're offering a $50 discount to those of you who uh, who sign up. And uh, make sure you register for that before the end of the week. Um, this will also be recorded. So I've gotten some questions about recordings. Is it going to be recorded if I can't make it? Yes, it will be. Uh, it does take. It will take us like a week to post it, maybe even less. Um, and it will also be available uh, for download. So if you guys have any questions in regard to that, again, you can email us and we'll happily respond to you. Um, otherwise, we'll see you guys at the next video update.